Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to do a little deep dive into Le Havre Athletic Club. You may be wondering why we would do this for a random league de side. The reason being though, they have one of the best youth systems in European football. Despite being a relatively small town in Normandy, Le Havre has managed to consistently produce elite level players for the last few decades. Michelle Bonnell, who's in charge of the club's academy, says the club recruits players based on several things, including their playing quality, their proximity to the city, and their maturity. The recipe here he has made though is undoubtedly successful. Let's jump in and see what players have come through the ranks here. First up we have Lafana Diara. He started his career with La Havre, eventually making 29 league appearances in the 04-05 season. Whilst he played in 2005 Toulon tournament for France, he attracted the interest of Chelsea, who paid £1 million to bring him to West London. He ended up a bit of a journeyman, finishing his career having played for 10 clubs in five different countries. He did manage to win 10 trophies though overall, including league titles in Spain and France. From my understanding, Paul Pogba didn't ever play a senior game for La Havre. He moved to Manchester United in a rather controversial transfer while still a youth player for the Norman club. One of France's 2018 World Cup winners, Pogba has won four Serie A titles with Juventus, as well as the Europa League with Man United. Time will tell what more he can add to his trophy collection. Real Madrid's left-back, Ferlan Mendy. Over three seasons in the La Havre senior team, he made 51 appearances for the club. Lyon clearly saw his talent and moved in to sign him for 5 million euros. Two years later, after establishing himself as one of the club's top performers, Real Madrid acquired him for around 50 million euros. Not a bad profit for Lyon. So far in Spain, he's already won six trophies. Riyad Mahrez played 67 matches for Le Havre senior team. His form there attracted the attention of Leicester City, who signed him for around half a million pounds. They definitely got themselves a bargain. During the five seasons he had in the East Midlands, he finished with 48 goals in 179 games. His 17 league goals in the 15-16 season was a big factor for Leicester's historic title win. Man City signed him for around £60 million in 2018. Another World Cup winner with France, Steve Mandanda played two seasons with Le Havre before joining Marseille in 2007. During his career, he's won seven trophies, including a league title and three Coupe de Ligues. This year, he joined Rennes on a two-year contract and has made himself their number one keeper. The last of France's 2018 World Cup winners from Le Havre, during his time in Normandy, he made 64 senior appearances for Le Havre. His form there attracted the attention of Marseille, who signed him for around €4 million. Euros. Without a doubt, Le Havre has done a great job with its academy. To have three World Cup winners from 2018 should be a great source of pride for the club. And who knows, maybe they have more players in their system right now who will be instrumental to future international success for France. Thanks for taking the time for this video.